Hey everyone, welcome to the EdTech Show. I'm Dan Spade, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft's Make Code in your classroom. So today we're going to talk about one of my absolute favorite coding tools, Microsoft's Make Code. And I have teachers all the time who ask me for resources about coding because they have students who are hungry for this. They either just want more experience or they want to get in and just start making games. And teachers aren't really sure where to begin. And so I want to show you today why Make Code is one of my favorite tools and how you can get started uh, without having any real coding experience of your own. So one of the things I love about MakeCode is the depth of their coding library. So you can use MakeCode either as a standalone product or if you have other products, you can incorporate those into MakeCode as well. So for instance, if you had like Microbit, uh, Adafruit, Minecraft, which I will do a whole nother video on the Minecraft coding because I think it's so amazing, uh, Lego Mindstorms, Q or Chibi Chip. Uh, they have all kinds of resources for those. Today, we're going to focus on their arcade, which is their standalone product. But I do just kind of want to show you quick the um, some of the project ideas they have. So if you do have some of those products that I mentioned, um, like say, for instance, you had the Adafruit, uh, you can make a magic wand. And in the magic wand, it shows you a short little video of how it works. And then it has all kinds of directions, everything that you need. So their library is really impressive and something you definitely want to check out, especially if you have any of those products that I mentioned. But today, I really want to focus on the Make Code Arcade because let's be honest, this is what gets kids really fired up. Uh, they're either at home playing video games or they're watching videos of people playing video games. So it's only natural that they want to create their own video games and learn how to do that. So Microsoft Make Code has all kinds of um, project ideas in here. And what I absolutely love is you as a teacher don't need any experience or knowledge about coding because there's all kinds of tutorials and walkthroughs and lessons where it guides the kids at their own pace. Um, so I'm going to show you all the options they offer and then I'll show you a quick tutorial uh, and show you what kids can do on their own. So just from the main page here, uh, which you can get to by going to arcade.makecode.com, uh, you can create your own new project. You can watch tutorials and these tutorials get a little bit harder and more advanced as you go through. So they start with Chase the Pizza and there's all kinds of games and they go all the way to the maze. There's block games. There's JavaScript games. So the JavaScript games are a little bit more advanced and I'll show you what that looks like because it gives you all of the coding and stuff you need to create your own JavaScript. There's community games. There's game design concepts. There's graphics and math. You've got um, actual lessons. They have computer science courses. Uh, these are the hardwares that you can use with it. Uh, and then there's John Park's workshop. So let me just show you a quick tutorial. Uh, I'll, show, oops, I'll show you the basic uh, Chase the Pizza, which is the first one. And again, so if a student came in with absolutely no experience, and I've done this with students, I've done this with my own son, um, and it's very easy for them to just click on Start Tutorial. And then it gives you a little introduction. And uh, you'll see from the screen, there's a little um, console that you can test your game out on. And at the top here, it shows you what you need to do. Um, and so as you walk through, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. As you build it, your game will appear over here in the corner. So let me take a quick break. I'll walk through the first couple steps so you can see what that looks like. And I'll be right back. So let me show you just the first few steps of this tutorial so you can see how easy it actually is for students. So it tells you to open the scenes toolbox, which is over here. Um, drag the set background color into the on start block on your workspace. So just drop it in there, click next. And then in the set background color, uh, block click the box to change the gray oval to the color palette uh, and select a background color. So we'll pick, I don't know, red and then click next and you can see it immediately changed on my console over here. So kids can see their game coming to life as they're creating. Um, so we can do set my sprite to, uh, and we'll put this in the start block like it asks to. This will create a new player. Um, so we'll click next. 
So now you can draw your player by clicking on the gray square. And so, you know, you can do something. Oh, this is terrible. Um, your kids will be much better than this. Oh, that's awful. But you get the idea. So you can see there's my pink player on the red background. We'll click next. And again, it walks you through step by step. I won't show you any more because I want this to be a short uh, overview. But you get the idea that your students can do this. And one of the great things too, and this is what I tell uh, my students, my teachers, my own son, is that as they're going through, they're going to inevitably make a mistake. And then their, their game's not going to work as they were hoping it would. And that is the best part of this, is having them go back. Say, start at the beginning. They can go back to step one. And then follow the instructions. See what isn't working. What did you make a mistake? That problem solving, that is what coding is all about. That's what we want our students doing. Um, so let's exit this. You get the idea. Um, there are, as I mentioned, all kinds of lessons uh, we'll pick this one just so you can kind of get an idea of what these lessons look like. These are less tutorials um, and more of a um, read through. So students can read through all of these different sections and this is to create their own games. So they would go through, they can learn, but you can see the difference of learning and maybe they have two tabs open, but it's not right there walking them through it step by step if you, if you understand what I'm saying. So it's a little bit different, but uh, it gives students a chance to do more advanced coding. And I do just want to show you what this looks like. So if you wanted to create a new project, so your students have gone through, and this is what I tell my students and my son, is once you've gone through all the tutorials, you've read through the lessons, if you go into my projects and then new project, you can create your own game uh, from scratch. So let me show you what that looks like, and not scratch the website, but really just like from nothing. And there's two different options, which I love. So students are familiar with the block coding if they've gone through all those tutorials. Um, so everything that they have seen in those, um, you can see there's more options than what we just saw, but as they go through the tutorials, there's all kinds of different things they can add. There's music and controls and loops and math and sprites. So there's all kinds of great things in here that gives them all kinds of creative control over creating their games. But the really cool thing is you will have students who are more advanced than that, who have done the block um, coding and want more. And this gives them the chance to write in their own JavaScript. Now, I know this may sound intimidating at first, and this is really cool because as students create longer games in the tutorials, they have the chance to kind of flip between block and JavaScript um, so that they can see what it actually looks like, what JavaScript um, is, and they can start to learn how they can use that themselves. Now, as I mentioned, there are JavaScript games. So let's go to Planet Putt-Putt. And we'll open this up. Again, this is just an example of a JavaScript game. So if you had students who really wanted to learn Java, so they can actually go in and see what some of this JavaScript looks like, which I think is really great because it's a good introduction into what JavaScript looks like. Now, again, if this is like over your head or a little intimidating as an educator, um, that's okay because this is over a lot of students' heads. But the fact that Microsoft has added this in there for the students who are ready for this, I think is incredible. So not only are your students gonna love the entire process of game design and coding, but once they're finished, they're able to download their game, share it with friends. And the cool part about that is their friends will come back with feedback like, oh, you should have changed this. And then they can go back in and they can make those changes, but making the changes really requires a lot of critical thinking because with the way the coding is, one little change can affect this, 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 and this. So they have to figure out how to make those changes. And it's the same thing when there's a mistake and they have to figure it out. Um, you know, it really requires a lot of problem solving. And that's that cool part of it where, you know, they're engaged, so they don't mind doing that. Uh, so I think Make Code is a home run. Uh, it's my coding site of preference. Uh, if you have any questions about Make Code, certainly uh, head to the website. They have all kinds of tutorial information. Uh, or reach out to me. You can reach me on Twitter at Dan Spada. Or you can visit my website, DanielSpada.com. Uh, or you can just 
write any comments in the comments section below or if you're using make code i would love to hear all about the lessons you've used on uh, the successes you've had so please put those down in the comments below reach out to me if you found this video useful please make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button so you see all of our future videos um, and if you know of a teacher that could use this video please 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 share it with them because we are all in this together and we have kids who are hungry for this kind of thing so let's provide them with the resources they need thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time